Hello everyone, the Relationship Scandal team would like to take a minute to appreciate everyone reading these stories. Switching to original exclusive daily content takes time, so if you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button. Without further ado, let's get into the update story. Quick note, if you haven't watched the original story, please do, so this story can make better sense. Don't want to take up too much time explaining the part 1, because viewers that watch the original story wants to know the update. The summary is that my new relationship girlfriend went to a Super Bowl party, wearing body paint. She didn't leave the house dressed like that and I had no idea she was going to do that. She persuaded me that the party was to network, with one of her rich clients, who invited her. She was also trying to make a sale so I couldn't accompany her to the mansion party. Fast forward to when she didn't come home until 5 in the morning, I uncovered the truth when I went through her phone and pieced the full picture together. She complicated things by straight up lying about why she went to the party and didn't want me there. There's a caveat to add to the story. Now let's get into the update. When I shared my story with the relationship scandal team, I didn't expect much feedback since it's a small channel. I told the team to notify me when my story is up, so I could read comments. You guys are brutal and swift with the condemnations, haha, I love the honest feedbacks though. I really do. Thank you all because now I know I wasn't overreacting. This feels like a community of mentally strong guys that refuse to accept nonsense attitudes from disingenuous women. Truth be told, I had to retract the original update to this story because I wanted to add more details and put some things in perspective. Here is what happened after I left my girlfriend's house. I told my girl we couldn't possibly hold a decent conversation at that time in the morning. I explained to her that my head wasn't in the right place and the lie was just unbearable for me. I would have been able to stomach the messed up situation she created, if she had just owned up, take accountability, and face my disappointment in her. The tears were just streaming down her cheeks and at this point I didn't even know what was real anymore. My biggest vulnerability is to see women cry even if it's fake tears. I have never seen her cry this much, and with her always being defensive and confrontation all the time, I never knew she had so many tears and a soft side in her. I felt something was broken inside her and I felt bad. I told her to stop crying and if we could meet after her work was over. Her class schedule for Mondays got moved online so we had more time to discuss. She had told me in part one of the story that she needed to drop the transaction money off at her office before I called her out for lying. She said we should go get coffee instead and talk about things right away and she swore she wouldn't tell a single lie. She said there are other things about her that she needed to tell me as well, so she can put everything on the table. Fair point, but I told her I needed to shower, I had been partying the night before. Told her we should meet up at our local coffee house at 9am instead, which was just in a couple hours. We had spent almost all morning arguing. Which was a record time for me, I'm the type that will typically walk away from these types of long talks and walk away from relationships. I was told in my last couple relationships that I wasn't attentive enough or emotionally supportive because I just ignore conversations and call it nagging. I tried to be a better man that listens but look where that got me. I digress. Anyway, we met up at the coffee shop and my girlfriend was already there. She looked absolutely wrecked. I thought maybe she does love me after all as she cared so much about me threatening to walk away from our relationship. But then I remember the extent of the lies she told to keep safe herself, I snapped back to reality and kept my stern look. We exchanged greetings and I got coffee, ready to drink and hear her out. She started off with a lengthy apology for what happened. I didn't care, I said honestly the grandiose lie was what bothered me the most. It was so elaborate and well connected it made me feel like she was a professional liar. However, I lightened the mood and told her to just spill out the truth this time and if I sniff a lie in her story, I was walking out and not looking back. She said she understands but need to lay some ground rules, so that we can have a productive conversation. I told her she wasn't in the driver's seat here and she was in no position to make any demands. She was the one caught in a web of lies and honestly, I was tired of stressing how much of a liar she was. She silently nods and told me to please trust her this time. She said she wanted to tell me things I might not know about her and she's trying to do this because she wants to be 100% truthful. She said the only ground rule she wanted me to observe was to not make snide comments when she's explaining her truth. 
She wanted me to be open-minded and not walk away in anger and try to accept her for who she is. I told her I can agree to everything except for the acceptance. I feel it's my right to choose to accept who she is or simply walk away but I was willing to listen. So, she started her story by explaining to me how deeply involved her job was. She said the only thing she told me was that she works in an art gallery, but she didn't tell me the extra things she does for work. Now I don't know much about art, and this was news to me, but she started explaining to me the extra things she does. Apparently, if the price is right, my girlfriend will often volunteer as an art model and would do nude modeling since they pay the most. What? What? And what? This was my first time hearing about this. I asked to be clear, is this the modeling niche where people stand butt naked and let someone draw them or paint on them? I was confused. She said yes, in her workplace, some rich clients often ask if they can draw some of their models and she is sometimes asked to do it. She told me it was nothing weird it's just a creative art form. Have I rushed into this relationship? Are these the things I should have found out before I made my relationship official? Wasn't she obligated to tell me these things because she perfectly hid that truth about herself if I couldn't find out? Even though it's just a 3-month relationship, we have been friends for almost a year. It was attraction at first sight but not the Hollywood love at first sight nonsense. I tried to know more about her when we were friends and thought I knew enough to confidently ask her to be my lady. I had agreed to her ground rules, so I couldn't tell her how I felt about my girlfriend confessing she dressed naked for some weird art guy or girl to draw her. She could read my body language and knew I was uncomfortable with the information she was sharing with me, so she told me to relax. She said it was normal for her and some of her art friends to often go from studio to studio and get paid doing this. I couldn't believe I was sitting through this conversation. I just wanted her to connect this confession to the Super Bowl body paint party and get this over with. She continued and said she understands what she does for a living might be unpopular, but it is perfectly legal. She said she doesn't do online gigs or Craigslist gigs that scout for nude models anymore. She explained that yes, she had encounters in the past where with fake artists that just wants to have sex with the nude models. She stated there was even a time she went into the hotel with someone that offered her a nude model gig, paid her well but problem was he couldn't draw because he wasn't an artist. She said the guy just put his pants down and wanted to rub his manhood off for a quick release. She had to run away from the gig. Luckily, she asked for upfront payments, so she was still paid. She said she was still paid with a smile on her face, but I was in no smiling mood. She quickly added she stopped those kinds of gigs and only work only with exclusive clients now based on referral on top of her wages at the gallery. Was I supposed to feel better? At this point, was she even a sales girl selling oil paintings or whatever the heck they do at her gallery or was she a model? How does the whole dynamic even work? Also, she can't possibly explain to me the dangers of this line of nude modeling business. I respect everyone's hustle but it's not just compatible with everyone's lifestyle. I'm just not comfortable with my girl being naked like that. Do they take pictures of these things? Do they feel on them and grab their butt all in the name of artistic expression? Do they even have sex with them and try to convince themselves they were just expressing pleasure artistically and doesn't count towards cheating? Call me silly but many things I don't know and I'm not comfortable being this clueless. My girlfriend could have saved me the headache of finding things out like this. I don't deserve this. I told her to continue, and she went further. On the night of the Super Bowl, she was invited to do body paint modeling and she got a good rate. She agreed to do it and went on to apologize again for not telling me. She said she wasn't sure how I was going to react and since she hasn't told me about her side gig modeling job, she wanted to wait for the right time. She said she had plans to tell me all along. But our relationship was still early. When she got there, she was having a good time when she saw some of her friends there. She was making good conversations with the guys at the party, networking like she wanted to and even got some sales lead. It was going well until she started to feel disoriented after a couple shots she had. Somewhere along the way, my girlfriend thought she was drugged with a sleeping pill. Apparently, some creepy pervert had made its way to this party. She said she immediately realized the danger because she had been drugged before and frantically reached out to her friend to help her. This is where things got worse. My girlfriend said she blacked out and before she could make it her friend, 
She was already feeling hands all over her body by one of the rich guys she was working for a sale. What? Okay, who am I supposed to be mad at now? My girl who had put herself in harm's way for a quick buck or the rich idiot that tried or possibly succeeded in taking advantage of my girl. The answer is simple, I'm mad at both. I told her before I start spazzing out, how long was she blacked out for, and does she think she was forcefully penetrated? Was she alone in a room with this man and what does she mean she felt hands rubbing all over her? I needed details at this point to know where to direct my anger. She said when she woke up cops were at the house, and she remember her friend was by her side. Apparently, it was her friend who had called the cops what else happened to make her friend call the cops. She shared more details about what happened at this party, and I will be sharing with this community but it's honestly just long to type out and I'm still at work. I will send out voice notes to the relationship scandal team to upload a part 3 update. Please be mindful that this has evolved to a criminal case, well, I'm trying to push my girl to make this officially a police investigation matter. I need her case number and blow her story up as much as possible but she's being hesitant. I told her to remember that I promised I would walk away if her story was false, and an official police investigation would make me believe her 100%. She started to tell me to look at the impact this would have on her work if her rich clients finds out she puts a case on one of them. She said we live in a patriarchal society in an age of me too and she's still thinking of how to approach the events. She wanted me to give her time and begged me to be on her side on this because she's the victim here. A part of me wants to believe her because of additional details that validates her story in my update but trust me, I know this girl is the least person I can trust right now. I'm just torn man. Update coming up. Thanks for listening to this story, please share your comments for the op to read. Let's keep growing the community if you subscribe to the channel and turn on notification. I promise to share the update to this story once I get his voice notes. The RS team would archive the receipts and public evidence forwarded to us once we have a community channel through an increased subscribers count, so please once again, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Thanks all.